become Autodesk AutoCAD certified. Yes, I did this video a long time ago and many of you asked me hundreds of questions and today I'm going to answer some of your questions live so maybe I can give you that last push for you to take the AutoCAD certification exam. Are you ready? So let's start with one of the first questions from Jose Lopez. And Jose asked, have you found a job with your certification? Jose, uh, to be honest, in my particular case, uh, the answer is no, because first I got a job in this architecture firm, of course, using AutoCAD, that's the tool that they use. And then after probably a couple of years, I got my AutoCAD certification. Uh, in my case, I didn't really need it uh, at that time because I already got a job. However, since I started it creating AutoCAD tutorials, right, for you guys here, uh, in YouTube, um, I decided to get my AutoCAD certification just to have maybe that credibility or or build that trust with you guys that I am indeed an Autodesk professional. So so I can give you you know better tutorials and so on. All right, so that's kind of. Um, you're asking me about if I got a job with my certification. So in my particular case, the answer was no. But of course, if you uh, want to get a first job, um, it definitely it will help you to have your certificate, right? It will be, again, uh, credibility that you have um, to show that you know the software and you will be able to perform the task or the job that you will be assigned on this particular uh, field, right? Um, so that's Jose, hope I answered your question. And uh, let's keep moving with the next question. Um, we have a couple of people connected on the chat. That's great, that's awesome that you are here. Um, so let's keep moving again by the end of this live stream. We're gonna give you some time to um, maybe ask your questions about this AutoCAD certification or basically anything related to AutoCAD, all right? So we already went and answered uh, the first question from Jose Lopez and let's keep moving with the second question. So the second question come from Prince Matthew. So he said, hi, awesome video, man. He's referring to the video that I did uh, like a year ago about getting the AutoCAD certification. So he says, I'm currently an, ele an electrician telecommunications apprentice in the United States, and I would love to dive into electrical AutoCAD. I've never used the software before, but I have a good knowledge of construction. What is the first step you will recommend? And do I need an associate degree? That's a good and really good question, Prince. Uh, and the reason I picked this question was because I believe it's gonna be beneficial for other people. Um, so that's why I'm gonna answer it live here today. So basically uh, what I would recommend is if you have the possibility if you can afford to get an associate degree uh, i would say go for it uh, you can get an associate degree maybe in computer and drafting or something related to design uh, of course i would say yes go for it however if you cannot afford it i would recommend um, that you can get some training or you can get a lower ranch job by this i mean 
maybe find a job or apply to a job uh, related to furniture, right? You can start working in any furniture um, job, maybe designing or drawing the furniture. And that would be easier to get that job. Once you gain some experience, maybe after six months, you can try to use that experience, put it in a portfolio and show your drawings, you know, as a proof that you know the software and then you can apply for a job that is related to your field, in this case, electrical. So that's a way to also get, get a job using AutoCAD if you cannot afford um, uh, to get an associate's degree, right? So I hope uh, I answer your question, Prince. And let's keep moving now with the third question, right? But before that, we have uh, some questions on the chat and we have, um, let me see, uh, Raula. Hi, Raula, thank you for being here today. I think you're new to the channel, but that's great that more and more people are finding uh, the Lazy Architect channel. And it says, hello from Greece. Hello, <laughs> I'm in Peru, South America right now, uh, but I usually live in the United States. I'll probably be there in a couple more weeks, but for now, uh, we're doing still this live stream uh, from South America, Peru. Um, Raula also says, I love your channel. Hey, uh, thank you for that comment. That's actually a motivation for me uh, to keep showing here each Saturday around 3 p.m. That is uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the United States time. So if you want to, you know, join us each Saturday, you can uh, join us. You're welcome. And again, if you are new uh, here, we are all about finding ways to save time working in AutoCAD, right? Because um, I feel really bad for sometimes people uh, working or doing it the long way. Uh, so that's why I'm sharing basically anything that can save some time. Thank you for being here, Raula. And today let's keep moving with the next question about the AutoCAD certification that came from you guys from a video that I did uh, like a year ago. Um, so let's keep moving. All right. So let's move to the third question about the AutoCAD certification. And this time, Nicholas. Nicholas is asking or was asking, hi, I appreciate you and all of your videos. Thank you, Nicholas. <laughs> I recently passed my AutoCAD user certification exam. I wanted to ask you your opinion. Is the professional exam much harder than the user exam? Uh, I'm gonna stop here to answer that question. And the answer is of course, yes, uh, Nicholas. The professional exam is gonna be mu way much harder than the user exam. And you can notice that simply by comparing the objectives from both exams, which I already did in a video that I did a, a year ago. So you can uh, check that video, which I did the comparison of both the user and the professional exam side by side. So, and over there you can automatically have a sense that the professional exam is going to be way harder. There are more advanced uh, topics involved, um, such as XREFs, uh, managing layers, and so on. So definitely the answer is yes. And then Nicholas is asking the, pro the proctor for my exam after I passed kind of made me feel like I have no business taking the professional until I get two years of experience in the field. But I, I feel like I would have a better chance of getting a job 
if I'm pro certified. Anyways, what do you think? Thank you. Nicholas, um, definitely you will have maybe more chances if you have the pro certification. But, however, I wouldn't say that you will have so much chances. I would say that you are good with just a user cert uh, certification in this case because you are looking probably by your comment, uh, your first job uh, related to AutoCAD, if that's the case. So I would say that the user exam, the user certification is is the is good enough for you in your particular case. Um, another thing, let's now keep moving with the next question, and I hope Nicholas, I answer your two questions that you have on your comment. So let's keep moving, and this is this question comes from Patel. Uh, Patel said, hello, great video. Again, Patel is referring to the video that I did a, a year ago here on YouTube. You can check that out later uh, where I compare um, the user and the professional AutoCAD exam. I also gave you my personal experience after taking and passed the AutoCAD test. Um, so yeah, check that out later. But he says, I want such a certification to show my knowledge of software in my restroom, probably not for job. So do I need to take the user or the professional exam? What is the validity of this certification? And does both user and professional cost the same? Well, those are great questions, Patel. And that's why I choose this question because I believe it's gonna be beneficial not only for you, but for many people that are maybe thinking of taking a, and passing the AutoCAD test. So to answer your question, if you only want this for your resume uh, and you don't probably not for a job, I would say that you can take the user exam, right? Because maybe uh, your major or your field is not really, really related to uh, AutoCAD maybe is not about engineering, architecture, mechanical. Maybe it's some other uh, field that you just want to prove that you know a little bit of uh, drafting. And I would say the user test or certificate would be good enough in your particular case. And then he's asking, what is the validity of this certification? Well, the validity is one of the best in the field of drafting and design, uh, Patel. Why? Because AutoCAD is one of the most used and recognized uh, softwares in fields such as architecture, engineering, mechanical, and, you know, more. Um, so it's very, very used um, in firms like this. So that's where the validity comes from, is um, a software that has been for years uh, still in the market and it's gonna be probably even more years. So, and he's asking about the cost. Do they cost the same? No, the cost varies depending on the, if you're taking the user or the professional. The professional, I believe, is, um, more expensive, but let's quickly double check that. So I can give you a better uh, answer on that. So right now we're here on the Autodesk website and for the prices is right here. You can see the professional is around $200. Uh, I believe the user is 150. So that's not much of a difference, but um, it makes sense because for the professional, again, it's more advanced. Um, all right. So, and over here, there are uh, more information that can help you to gain more confidence about taking the exam. Like, for instance, 120 minute exam time. So that's time, the questions, 45 to 60 questions. 
uh, the price. Again, uh, right now I'm looking at the professional. Uh, all of this, that's the one that I passed, the one that I took, and the certificate that I have. If you want to take a look, the certificate is my certificate is right here on my YouTube channel. If you go here, uh, that's my Autodesk certificate. You can click and uh, read whatever you need to, again, gain more information and maybe um, that can give you more confidence uh, when you go and take your exam. So this is me and I took the exam on 2020. Again, you can check that out at your convenience later. But let's uh, keep moving with the next question, right? Um, so let's keep moving with the next question. Uh, I believe it's the fifth question. And the next question comes from Ismael Paulo dos Santos, one of, uh, of uh, my members or my supporters in YouTube. Thank you, Ismael, for supporting my work on YouTube. Um, so he's asking, uh, when, when I did the professional exam, I was very nervous too. One thing, oh, he is referring that on the video that I did, um, I shared my personal experience taking the exam and I said that I was nervous, um, uh, because I didn't know how, you know, how, um, was, uh, all the whole process. I was taking the exam from my house. So that gave me a little um, nervousness. So anyway, one thing that I had never used in AutoCAD and that I learned in the exam was the use of model viewports. By the way, many practical questions pointed to certain model viewports to be performed. When I took the exam, the certificate lasted three years. Does it still continue? Ismael, that's a great question again. That's what I'm showing it today. And I'm sharing it to probably hundreds of people that is going to watch this video and it's going to help them, right? So the three years, that's according to Autodesk. Autodesk, of course, is the owner of AutoCAD and other programs such as Revit and so on. But um, so let's go back to the website because According to Autodesk, yes, uh, three years is the time that uh, they give to the Autodesk certificate. Let me find it over here. And I believe if I scroll over, over here, it says certification valid for three years. However, Ismail, to go back to your question, uh, based on my personal experience, um, I would say that as long as you keep using AutoCAD or working with AutoCAD or use it in a regular basis, you wouldn't have any problems of taking again another certification because offices or jobs wouldn't care if you took it more than three years ago, as long as you are using the software so again um, experience is more important than a certificate and this is true with the validity of the program if you uh, took your certificate and then it's been four years but you were still using the program then i would say there wouldn't be any problems at all with a next job that you might try to get into all right Ismael, I hope um, I answer your question. And again, I can see here by the icon or the emotic that you are a supporter from my work on YouTube. Thank you very much for that. As always, this video and the video on your screen to learn or keep learning AutoCAD comes thanks to my supporters, people who believe in my work, either as a YouTube member or patron. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on this next lesson.